the central nervous system with the brain and the, and the spine uh, and the peripheral nervous system, all the nerves throughout the body, uh, are actually in constant communication um, with the endocrine system. They're completely linked in terms of the messengers that are being put out and the messengers that are being received. And um, that is actually in constant communication with the immune system. And I'm actually an immunologist. Um, and so it turns out they speak the same language. They have shared proteins that they're putting out and receiving. And so um, classically people have studied these systems in isolation, but in recent years it's, we, we're getting more of an understanding of how they really are linked and, and the communication is constant and it's extensive. How, you know, even momentary anger can cause your salivary IgA levels, antibody levels to go down for hours. And, uh, and how, um, you know, strong these effects are, how your positive affect and your outlook um, can have a positive effect on whether you get ill or not. And conversely, if, you're, um, if you are depressed or if you are very anxious or you're under constant stress, that you are much more apt to get sick. And if you do get sick, um, you will have more difficulty um, recovering. So we really know now that the biochemistry is there. Uh, and, and yet, for many people, it's not widely known. So it is a case where the research is well ahead of the general knowledge. Um, so it, we really do have a, have a job to do in terms of educating and still a lot more research. But um, it, it's really, it's not at all um, uh, weird or contradictory. It's like really solid science. It, it really makes sense. The more you know, the more it fits together. And, you know, like Kelly McGonigal was saying this morning with the, um, uh, you know, the brain GABA changes. And uh, so now people are able to start looking at changes within the brain density of chemicals and signaling and what areas are lit up and and then correlate these with with people's self-report of how they're feeling and then we correlate that with the functioning of the immune system so this affects healing and illness and wellness and then stress uh, so many of the chronic diseases that people have and and depression um, this really is very much a stress. There's so much stress involved in that, and, and so many times it's, it has to do with trauma and, uh, and really healing and rewiring the brain and, and the biochemistry and the, and the responses that we have. And yoga can do that. You know, we're finding, we, we've known it empirically for thousands of years, but now actually the scientific evidence is, is coming together.